Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting something to episode 4 of season 2 of Oshinoko. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. What's up? <laughs> Excuse me. Well, okay.
you want to work with them. If it's not, I 100% agree. That's good. Yeah, praise him. Mm -hmm. There you go. I mean, did y'all stay up all night getting this done? Oh my god. Please let them get some sleep.
aqua. It's just aqua. Of course you will. Yeah, it's very challenging because fuck two weeks, but you got this. Why do I feel like he's going to think about I? Like, how he truly felt seeing her dying in that moment. Oh, Jesus, no, don't do that. Kana's right. But yeah, I mean, she grew up with them. <laughs> True. you need to find something to bring out that emotion if you don't you're just holding yourself back no you weren't too hard on him you you did what you thought was right and you have to be harsh on him you can't baby him all the time Mm -hmm. 
Jesus Christ. Go check on him. I get that. Right? You can't just, like, be like, fuck it, I'm going home. <laughs> I mean, well, who else <laughs> who else was he supposed to turn to? Girlfriend. Are we sure we want to tell her? She could have figured this shit out. Akane! Bro, she figuring this shit out. Oh, this gonna be dangerous for her.
She's gone. Cause she figured it out. That or he's about to tell her everything. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, we have to wait till next week. Oh, my God. So, yeah, no, she's figuring it out. She is most definitely figuring that shit out. And the fact is, like, I get it. She doesn't really want to be like, I know your secret. I know this. I know that. Because something tells me, once again, either one of two things is going to happen. He is going to tell her or she's going to expose him or... Maybe, just maybe, because, you know, everybody is looking at Ruby and Aqua being like, yeah, y'all too. We came on to the scene in a very interesting way. You both get feels to I. Like, what if, because I, cause I was thinking about this one, one random day even with season one. What if somebody does, like, background inf information on them? Yeah, like, because of the fact is Strawberry Pro has hidden a lot of things about Ruby and Aqua, but it, it's kind of very easy to do and find information on someone and such. It's either that or Ruby and Aqua themselves will expose who they, who their mother is. And if that shit happens, that's World War Three. But the, fa okay, but let's really, hold on. I, and I, oh, fuck me. Jesus Christ. Okay. Here, here's my real little issue. Akane. Asking. And there, there's gonna be a situation where she's gonna know too much and it's gonna fucking slip out. She's, she's the one character where I'm over here like out of any of these characters that knew, old and new that we have met throughout this damn show. She's the one who I felt like would slip up the most. That she would have a conversation with someone. Mind you because she's in high school. Regardless. I'm not saying that, you know, one day, like, let's say she's in her 20s or she's, like, 18 or whatever and she gets secretly drunk or hella turnt and she's like, oh, yeah, by the way, like, mm, my boyfriend at the time, yeah, he was acting a little weird, you know, I think he's, you know, a descendant of this person such. Or I know this, but her learning, especially, and also finding the truth, she's already deep in, within it. That means whoever is watching over Ruby and Aqua, like, and knowing secretly about them, they're gonna start watching her as well. So she's now in danger just as much as these two. This is the one time, the one freaking time out of any of these characters in this show that I don't want her in this. Like, I want her to be separate and away from this because if she dies... I don't even want to think about her dying. I don't even want to think about Kana dying because I like Kana too. I don't want anybody else to die in this show. Even though something tells me someone else is possibly dying in this show because duh. But no, like, because I don't want to look at everybody and be like, hmm, how long you surviving? How long you surviving? You dying next week? Is somebody about to possibly kill you because you know too much? And, and then, okay, let me just say one more thing. Dude with gl the glasses... Every scene that him and Aqua are in together, I get weird feelings. Very weird vibes. Because it's like, from afar, when you look at them both, hairline and everything, not even the hair color, they look like, possibly, they could be related. Just looking at the hair shape and everything. But the thing is, even if they were, he doesn't have the same eyes. So, I 
could just say, forget that shit. Like, no, let that, in one, in one ear off the other. Like, no, there's no way in hell. Like, if there was somebody else working in this production who is related to Aqua and Ruby, that's fucking nuts. But then, no, because, it, it, no, because let's think about that real quick. If there is, yes, that would be freaking nuts. But at the same time, and he finds out, he can be one step closer to his dad. So that that is a good thing. But regardless, because we're only really four episodes into this, I don't know. And, and then when is he going to have the time to be like, yeah, let me secretly ask everybody real quick. Let me, let me, mm -hmm, let me get some <laughs> freaking hair follicles and everything. Because regardless, he's doing this whenever they're not busy. He's finding out ways and such. Because, duh, he did that shit in season one. But, um... Yeah, was not w expecting PTSD moment in this episode today because Jesus Christ, like that even took me out. I was not ready for that. Just to see her again and just in that moment, it still fucking hurts. It, it's still one of the most emotional moments in the show as as of now. That Nakane. But something tells me in the next couple of weeks, we're probably going to see something even more deadly. I'm not really sure about that. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode four of season two of Oshinoko. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. It's with Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys all officially next Wednesday for episode five. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.